Hey everybody, this is Grace. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to talk about, again, get some more background, basically, to a woman named Tabitha. Uh, she's a 32-year-old woman in early 2020. And um, I have some notes about her. Go back to, uh, let's see, a little over a year and a half. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to get some of this out. But uh, basically, Tabitha, she's a woman that, you know, had, she loved shopping when she was young. And she we used to go shopping with her mother and her uh, grandmothers. And they all lived in the same in the same house with their dad, with her dad, and their the grandmothers, you know, or grandfathers. Okay, <laughs> put it that way. Anyway, um, and they would go shopping often, and she made a business out of it. She um, she really loved it, and her business is that she does delivery. She does it in Victorson County, and she's basically. The only one and she had divided it up into sections of the county and uh, except for basically two areas sometimes she did one of those but um, those were the areas she wasn't interested in but she divided up and all that and she has a, a daughter a very young daughter I think two years old and uh, and the dad is he lives in the one of the towns that's not so great she doesn't go in. Okay, anyway, my phone's acting weird. But um, in early 2020, they started doing in the county with various things going on, including some investigations. Some they were just um, they weren't sure what to think if they were, if people were uh, making little threats to the elders and other people in the county, and uh, they they just decided with everything that was going on, they decided to do a lockdown of the county and they had all kinds of strict rules and everything well she was able to continue her delivery but she had different ways that she did it and all to you know keep herself safe and all and uh but at some point after things started loosening up they had rolling lockdowns and then things started loosening up some uh she was called by a woman named alicia to um Alicia wanted to use her delivery service for, you know, all of the people that were going into the cabins. Alicia, um, and they're called cabins on the lake, <clears throat> and she was working with Jane. Anyway, <laughs> Tabitha was a little bit surprised, but she jumped on the opportunity, and um, to do so. Now she already had some employees and all, and um, but basically at some point she was asked if she would. Um, hire enough people for her to do her delivery service and she would do the cabins and um, she would I'm looking at my notes here she would do the same for people who uh, did the you know she they ask her basically to get people to do different parts of the county now she had attended university and um, she had you know she had friends that were in business and they had also got degrees in business and they had been they had moved like to the big cities most of them and they ran their own delivery services but when they heard there was this lockdown they came back and then she she got hired them for different uh, parts of the delivery service also so it was um she was you know kept pretty busy doing that and she started organizing that but also she did hers for the you know people that were staying in the cabins on the lake and uh, these were, they called them 2.0s. They were um, the descendants of the people who started up their uh, virtual county and uh, people who were in this group of original group members of, they were basically geeks, okay. So anyway, I'm t just getting out some of this information. She was, um, at, at first she was giving a uh, re refrigerated delivery truck and then more started as time went by um, for her deliveries. And uh, and she, you know, hired more people and um, you know and people in the different areas of the county. So um, you know, and eventually her job was just to organize them. And then somebody took over the cabins, but she you know, delivering to the cabins, and she just organized the whole thing for the delivery service for the whole county. So anyway, look at my notes here. 
and uh, let's see. Like I said, she would also, you know, ask if she would take over the one for the construction work. Now there was some construction work south of the county. There was a small county there. They they were basically isolated that county, Victorson County. But the one, the small one below, it hardly had any, you know, much population. Most moved out because they're just, they just didn't have jobs there, and uh, they made a deal. The, the elders of the county made a deal with them, and basically they wanted to get their, um, you know, they wanted to use part of the land for campers, uh, for RV parks, and for people because they were going to do all this construction work in the county, Victorson County, and. All, they were going to basically make it to where they could shut down the whole county. Um, you know, do everything legally, but they wanted construction. They wanted it all the way around the county, you know, and houses, apartments, condos, townhomes, these things, and uh, gates. So anyway, they, uh, so she, you know, she was asked if she would do that for them. And uh, let's see, let me read my notes here. Let me see. You know, some people there, you know, while they were doing, working on construction of, you know, they were living in tents and stuff like that. But she, they did build these buildings for the, um, in the RV parks there, um, one south of them. And eventually they asked her if she wanted to move in. Now she was living with her parents, with her daughter and, uh, her parents and her grandparents on both sides. And, um. She thought that would be great. You know, she'd finally have something. They, and they offered her, you know, they had a babysitter for her and all that. So, you know, a nanny. And uh, she was really they good. Also she also installed some double wides and uh, for the, gro like, groceries until they got the rest of the buildings. And, um, you know, they had people to, more people living in there. So they were getting it all together, you know. Uh, they had two restaurants and um, the same, which were temporary. Everything was kind of like temporary at first. And um, you know, some for law enforcement, you know, they had like little trailers and such set up. But it took time, of course, as you know, it wasn't just all of a sudden, boom, there it was. And um, you know, like healthcare, little emergency. But at first it was kind of like, you know, just the RV park out there. If people wanted anything else, they had to drive into the into the county and yeah let's see you know the people that ran the services they had places for them but over time and uh, then they were also going to have that was the south part they were going to have northwest to east south so that that was in the works let's see okay let me see that's looking at all my notes And they were basically set up on the borders of the county. And it was outside of what also surrounded the county was uh, a lot of uh, farmland. But on the outside of that, still within the county. So, let me see what else. You know, she was, she was, she was really getting involved with it. And uh, she really wanted to be there. And then eventually they had... Uh, somebody they hired as her business manager and um, you know her business manager for the inside of the county and eventually she moved to the RV parks to really organize all that and for all the different um, construction people the RV parks were going to be out there and for all the other rest of the construction so anyway th this is part of a um, hypothetical fictional this is part of a series of hypothetical fictional stories and, you know, any of my opinions, thoughts, and all that, and it could be wrong in any of them. And uh, read the disclaimers in the description box below this video on YouTube. It's fiction. <laughs> but, um, anyway, Tabitha, she plays some big roles in it, and, and I'm going to, um, Tabitha's going, you know, her, since she's into these, you know, delivery services, when she talks to her friends and everything, I'll talk about what they said and about um, their their own experiences in the big city with running their own and it wasn't all groceries or restaurants some of them delivered um, some of them actually 
went and um, did different kind of shopping for them. And, um, or like the people, um, they just did different kinds of things. It's, you know, like even in clothing, some didn't want to go, and so they did that. <laughs> And you would think they could just th do them through the mail, but different kinds. Yeah, I've seen different kinds like that. So, delivery services. And I want to talk about that. So, anyway, I wanted to get this part out. And uh, I'll talk to you on another video. Bye.